Hey there, my beautiful friends. Desiree here. Welcome back to Danzeek Fitness, and thank you for joining me for this full body sculpt challenge. Include the addition of this seven minute HIIT workout into your normal fitness routine for seven days straight and watch what happens. So this simply means if you normally run every day, I want you to continue running every day. You're just going to also do this workout every day. It's really amazing how by adding in a little bit more physical activity, into your daily exercise routine can impact your mental and physical being in such a positive way. Despite the fact that this workout is very short, all these moves are super effective at strengthening and sculpting long, lean, elegant, sexy muscles. Remember, you cannot out-exercise a bad diet. So if you're especially looking to drop some weight, you must eat right. Fueling your body with good, nutritious, wholesome foods will help it work more efficiently and will allow you to see the best results possible for this challenge. Okay, everyone, let me show you your seven exercises so you know what you're working with. We're gonna start in a high plank and do our high up plank splits. This is a fun one, really working the entire body. Next up, we'll move on to our leg circles. Great for those lower abdominals. Then we'll go into some lunges and shift the weight forward as we lift the leg back, and then we switch to the other side. Great for your balance. Next up, we're going to tiptoe into a pike, and then we jump up into a pike jump. Tiptoe, bend, jump, and shoot back out. Then we have a beautiful side series, working the legs. We kick up twice, and then the bottom leg pulses up four times. Then we'll go into our flying bird dog, pushing back into a beautiful downward facing dog, keeping those feet pointed. Okay, 45 seconds on, 15 second rest in between each. Let's get it going. All right, get into your beautiful high plank. Keep that booty down as you slide the big toe up towards your hands. Good, we're alternating legs here. Remember, you don't have to go as fast as I'm going. You set your own steady tempo or pace. 27 seconds left. Keep your gaze at the mat. Tummy in tight, belly button in and up. Booty down. 18 seconds. Good. Woo. Keep going, keep going. 10 seconds. Very nice. All right, we're gonna flip over on to the backs. Let's really focus on our lower abdominals. Very tricky area to target. I want you to sit on your hands, legs are up. Externally rotate the legs. We open about the width of the mat, lower down, close and lift back up. Good guys. So as you can see, I am curled up in my crunch position just so I can work that core even more, but you can always put your head down on the mat to do this exercise. Most important part is that we are not arching the back. So sitting on the hands really helps us prevent from that back arching off our mat. 18 seconds left, keep going. Good, keep those legs externally rotated. So we're really working our external rotators. Great for the legs and thighs and buns and core. Woo, good job, everyone. All right, let's get on the feet and we'll go into our lunge pulses with our back leg lift. Legs are parallel, we pulse it down. One, two, three, four. Shift the body forward, try to make your torso parallel to the floor as you lift the back leg up and then we switch feet. Good, so we want the legs to be bent at about a 90 degree angle and then straighten the legs as you pitch forward. 26 seconds left. Make sure the tailbone is going straight down to the floor and then we pitch forward, hold that tummy tight and keep your legs nice and strong. So you can shift forward and not lose your balance. Supporting leg long and strong. Nine seconds, keep going. Let's 
so good. All right, friends, shake out those legs and let's get ready for our pikes. Starting in a high plank, tiptoe those feet in, tailbone goes to the sky, pike up, then jump up and step back out to your plank. And again, tiptoe in, bend the knees, jump up and step back out to your plank. Beautiful, 30 seconds left. Good, I really, really love this one. We're really working the upper body here and the legs and the core, we're working it all. Good, almost there, 12 seconds, stay strong, stay in control, keep up your speed. So good, all right. Let's get down on our side for our little side series and let's really focus on those legs and the booty. Externally rotate the top leg. We're gonna kick it up twice, then bend it and place it in front of you. Bottom leg pulses up four times, working that inner thigh. And again, kick up one, kick up two, bend the knee in front, pulse one, two, three, four. Yes, 25 seconds. Good, make sure you're really lifting up tall, even though you're laying down, we have to have our good posture. Good, keep the hips stacked, keep the shoulders stacked, tummy in tight, 11 seconds. Good, squeeze up that leg as high as you can. Very nice, all right guys, let's swing the legs around and we'll do the same thing on the other side. And top leg, kick it up, lower down, kick it up, lower down, bend it, and bottom leg pulses up four times. Beautiful job, guys. Keep going, keep up your pace. Good. Make sure your upper body's staying perfectly still, so don't add in any extra wiggly jigglies, as I call it. My kids always laugh when I say that. 16 seconds. So just the leg is moving from the hip joint. And nine seconds, keep going. Beautiful. All right guys, we have one more exercise and then you are done with this workout. Let's get into our tabletop position into our flying bird dog. Opposite arm to leg and we fly, pulsing up, two, three, four, and keep the feet pointed as you shift back into your downward facing dog. Good, 33 seconds left, over to the second side. So we're gonna keep alternating sides. Good, if it bothers you to push back into your downward facing dog with your feet pointed, then that's okay. Just tuck your toes under as you would normally do. 18 seconds left. Stay strong. Belly button always pulling in and up to protect our lower backs. Yes, yes, yes. Good job, everyone. That is a wrap on this seven minute hit workout. How fast did that go by, right? This is why I absolutely love HIIT workouts. They go by so fast and they're so much fun. I can't wait to hear about the positive changes you've noticed after this seven day challenge. If you're loving your results, keep it going and repeat this workout every day in addition to your normal fitness routine. Sending you all the biggest virtual hug ever. And of course, sending tons of love and light. Don't forget, all Danzig Fitness related info is in the description box down below, including the information on my online classes. I would love to meet you and see you there. Take care of you. See you in the next one. Bye, guys.